everybody, it's Blue Ducky, and today I have two of the great Scare Your Reef Monster High dolls to review with you guys. They're Down Under Ghouls, and the one is the daughter of Poseidon, and her name is Posea Reef, and the other one is daughter of Confidential, and that's Kala Mary. These two are the two that I was most excited about for the Great Scary Reef. So I was so, so happy to find them on my latest toy hunt. And if you guys haven't checked out that toy hunt, make sure to go click and watch it and see what other cool, awesome toys that I found. And I want to thank you to all my subscribers watching this. But if you happen to be a new viewer and you like doll news and doll reviews, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. And here is a look at the back of Calamari's box. And you can see it has daughter of and whoever she's the daughter of is scribbled out. And it says, shh, it's a secret. And you have her Freaky Flaws, Killer Style, Favorite Activity, where you can learn more about her. And it says, her pink tentacles glow in the dark. And she comes with a bio and diary. And a paragraph about the Great Scarier Reef. Since Calamari is a new character, she does come with a diary. Here's an up-close look at Kella's face. I love her markings around her eyes and her ultra-long eyelashes are gorgeous. And then she has pink lips with little yellow polka dots. Her hair is a dark navy blue with some orangey streaks through it. And she has these navy blue ear bangles on both sides. She has this really awesome top with this blue, navy blue belt. And you can see the pattern on her top is different like squids, black squids, and then the yellow. And then this looks like blue with some coral patterning. And she has four arms, which is pretty cool. And uh, three out of the four come with bracelets. You have this coral looking orange bracelet a yellow coral bracelet, and then this pink bangle. Very cute. And then we come to Calamari's tail, which is probably the most awesome part of her. She has, it starts out like a regular mermaid tail, and then you have some pink fins here, and this awesome pink to yellow pattern. But then on the bottom, she has tentacles, so she's like Ursula. She doesn't have a fish tail. She has tentacles like a squid because these two things are like squid, um, long squid suckers. So those are really cool. Uh, they move back and forth so she can have them all closed up together or you can have them out farther and she stands up nicely when they're out in like a tripod so these two things glow in the dark which is pretty cool I'll try to show you guys on camera right now and here it is glowing in the dark hopefully hopefully you guys can see it pretty well but it looks like a bright yellow glow and it looks awesome with her tentacles so I am totally in love with Calamari I think she looks awesome I love her colors and her design she looks so cool to me she's my favorite I think out of all the scarier reef dolls and even though her father is supposed to be a mystery they don't actually tell you who she's the daughter of my guess is that she's supposed to be the daughter of the Kraken because a lot of times in pictures the Kraken looks like a giant squid so let me know who you think she's the daughter of in the comments below. Okay, next doll we're going to look at today in this video is Posea Reef, and she's the daughter of Poseidon. You can read a little bit about her on the back of the box, and her critters glow in the dark, which sounds awesome. And it has advertisements for the other two ghouls from Great Scary Reef, as well as the paragraph about Great Scary Reef. Here's a look at the diary that Posea Reef comes with. 
And here's an up-close look at Postia Reef's face. She looks gorgeous. I love the mold of her face and the way it's shaped. And it's really cool that her bottom lashes are blue instead of black. She has pink freckles across her nose. Here's a look at the bow in her hair, which looks like it's made out of coral. Posia Reef has this beautiful dark pink and green hair that half of it's pulled up and the rest is nice and long. You can see underneath there's more green striping. Here you can check out her awesome unique shaped ears and she has blue coral earrings. Check out the top. She has this awesome coral, uh, it goes all the way over her body, around her chest, neck, and hips. And then on each arm, she has seaweed uh, arm cuff and uh, bracelet. And her skin has these dots on them. You can feel them, they're raised dots, and they remind me of like a sea star how they have the dots on their body. Underneath this awesome coral piece, you have this top that has purple, orange, and lime green pattern to it. Now check out this bottom half. Once again, she doesn't have a traditional mermaid tail, but the bottom of her looks like it's made out of living seaweed, and you have crab, a little uh, seahorse in there, some other creatures living in her seaweed tail and uh, the bottom three uh, are like a tripod and they let her stand up but it's a really cool effect and supposedly these creatures are supposed to glow in the dark so let's check it out and here they are glowing in the dark and the interesting thing about the glowing in the dark is you can actually point out the creatures a little better I see there's fish bones in there, and the, the seahorse, this like snake thing, some more fish bones, and a little crab. It looks really cool. I kind of wish all of the translucent seaweed would glow to make a really stunning effect. Okay guys, and since I have so many mermaid dolls now, I decided to do, at the end of this review, a quick doll comparison of all the mermaid inspired dolls that I have. There's a lot of course from Great Scarier Reef. We have for the Freaky Fusion Serena Von Boo. There's Finnegan Wake, Ariel from the Disney Store, the Once Upon a Zombie Ariel, and the Bratzilla's uh, mermaid character. First, we'll check out the hair and makeup of Torilai, Laguna, and Frankie. They all three come with ponytails. Here's Torilai's ponytail with her orange and black hair and her bright, colorful makeup. Here's Laguna. She has a bright, colorful makeup as well. And then her ponytail has a little twist in the front that makes it special and unique and cool looking. And there's Frankie's voltageous looking makeup with the different color stripes in her hair. And it's a high, uh, spiky kind of ponytail. Next, we'll check out Serena Von Boo. Even though she does, she's half ghost, she's still a mermaid. And she has lime green makeup and some soft pink lips. And as far as her hair goes, I really think she has a cool hairstyle. Got that big, huge bangs, some three twisties, and then her hair is pulled up in two different types of ponytails the one on the top of her head, and on the side of her head, and her hair is a mixture of like purple and blue. Next, to check out Finnegan. He doesn't have makeup on because he is a, a boy, but um, he has this really cool fin that is. Not exactly hair, but it's like replacing the hair with a fin, which is pretty cool. And Posia Reef, which you guys just saw, and she has that purple, pink, and green hair with some pulled back and the cute, cool makeup. And then there's Calamari's makeup, which is one of my favorites. I love that orangey color. And then her hair is pulled back in a high ponytail. Next up is the Once Upon a Time Little Mermaid, and she has smoky 
makeup because she's like a zombie so and then her hair is this beautiful strawberry blonde color and it has a little bit pulled back and twisty and it's falling around her face with the bangs very pretty next up is Disney store Ariel she is very soft and natural looking makeup and her classic red long curly hair bright red Next up is the Bratzilla's Fiona, which her makeup is chalked with glitter, uh, green and blues, and super glittery. And then her hair looks like it's been crimped, kind of got that crimp look to it. And it's long and loose and blue. And finally, there's Perry in Pearl, which Perry has the blue and orange eye shadow. And then Pearl has the green and purple with different color lipsticks and their hair are opposites blue and white. One's majority blue with a little bit of white and one's white with a little bit of blue. But they're both long and wavy. So it seems like a common theme for mermaid dolls is to have their hair pulled back in either a little bit or all of it. Because there's only three that have their hair completely loose without any of it tied back. And there's Finnegan who doesn't really have hair but it's not tied back. It's like a mohawk. Which makes sense because if you're a mermaid and you're swimming in the ocean, your hair would probably tend to get in your face. So you probably want to pull it back so you can see and not have hair in your face all the time. out of all of them my favorite hairstyle belongs to Laguna because I like that twist that goes back into the ponytail and I also really enjoy the colors in her hair the blonde with that blue and pink okay so when I was looking and comparing my mermaid dolls it seems that there's really three different types of mermaid tails there is the type that is a uh, over skirt that hides legs underneath like in the case of these three the Disney store Ariel Fiona from Bratzilla's and the once upon a time Little Mermaid all have that style of tail where it's made out of fabric and it looks like a skirt or a tail and then underneath you have legs as well and another similarity they seem to have is that the tops are like bikini tops with the Ariel she's gonna be of course mimicking the Disney Ariel's outfit with the shells for Fiona she has a bikini style top with a sea star and for the once upon a time Little Mermaid she also has a sea shell bikini top out of these three I think my favorite style it's probably going to be the Once Upon a Time, um, Once Upon a Zombie, sorry, Little Mermaid. Because I like how the shells are molded out of plastic and then how sparkly her tail is. The second and most classic and probably most popular way to do mermaid tails on dolls is the classic mermaid tail that looks like some sort of fish. Um, there's... Finnegan Wake here with his blue scaly tail. And then we have Serena Von Blue, who his tail's more, her tail is more tattered, but that's because she's part ghost. And they put that chain around the tail so you can um, get that ghostly feeling, but it's still like a fish. Then there's Torlai from Great Scarier Reef who has an orange lionfish themed tail and they drew some stripe painted some stripes on it. And then lastly there is the mermaid version of Laguna Blue and she has the big uh, single fin tail there with some pattern um, patterning on it with the scales and the painting and she also has fins on her arms and the Fin like wings, which also Torlai have has. 
So, as far as outfits go for these dolls, they kind of have a variety of different outfits. There's just um, Finnegan with his tank top, Serena with a top that's very pretty and it has like an undersea sort of pattern and theme to it. There's Torlai with her top and it's, um, it looks like coral printed on it. And she has this necklace that looks like seaweed. And then Laguna has a more of a crop top with a little uh, frill around her tail and pearls and flower necklace. I think out of these four tails, my favorite I think is probably going to be Serena Von Boo's. I just love the pearly white and the black. Uh, of her tail and I think it looks a cr really really nice design and the final style of tail is the mermaid that is not part fish but part like eel or sea snake hydra sea snake octopus and then uh, for Priscilla Reeve she had kind of like has um, plant-like tail which is cool and these probably are my favorite category of mermaid tails because I like different not so traditional which these four ghouls are definitely that and taking a look at their outfits they all four have some sort of top to cover the torso and they seem to have elaborate necklaces well, at least Perry and Pearl and Posia Reef do. But Perry and Pearl's is gold and treasure, which I love. He's is this cool coral printed top with an electric eel belt. But Mary makes herself different because she has four arms and a tail full of tentacles. Um, but her top is like this coat and the large belt that's a little spiky and it has um, squid printing on it. And the under portion right here looks like coral. Sia Reef has this elaborate coral body piece with the, the top underneath and lots of seaweed accessories and her tail is all seaweed. It has little creatures living in it, which is cool. And then calamaries. Uh, tentacle squid body and then the electric eel Frankie and finally the Hydra which is kind of like um, seems to be more like a sea snake than anything for Perry and Pearl. I think out of these four tails um, my favorite is definitely Cal Calamary because I love her squid-like tail, lower half of her body. Another similarity that I noticed, of course the whole scarier reef line has glow-in-the-dark aspects to them, but uh, besides the Monster High scarier reef, another doll that has glow-in-the-dark that's a mermaid is Fiona from Bratzilla's. So for Monster High in particular, the only uh, mermaid, which is actually a merman, that has um, is Finnegan, and he has the wheelchair. And you might be asking yourself if Monster High has so many mermaids or is going to have so many mermaids, um, aren't these other ghouls going to need a wheelchair? And I think it's really interesting if you think about it because, um, well, for Serena, she's half ghost, so she floats. And then for um, Torlai, Laguna, and Frankie, my guess is by the time they get back to Monster High in the movie, they're going to have their legs again. And then for the three new ghouls that are mermaids, they made their bottoms not like a fish. So Calamary could probably still walk on land because she has tentacles. And then Posia Reef could still probably walk on land with her uh, sea seaweed kind of body. And then for the Hydra, Perry and Pearl, 
she has more of like snake leg -like body and snakes can of course crawl on land so they made it when they designed the dolls that they wouldn't have to do another one in a wheelchair because he's the only one that has like a real fishy tail and wouldn't be able to walk on land so it was very interesting that they decided to do that and thought ahead to designing the dolls I think Okay, everyone, I just want to give you all such a big thank you for watching this review of Calamari. Calamari. I always call her Calamari. Calamari and Placia Reef. And this mermaid doll comparison. I hope you enjoyed seeing all these mermaid dolls all together. There's quite a big collection of them now. And for people who collect Barbie, you probably have a ton more because Barbie's always done a lot of mermaids. So, um, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. I do appreciate it. And if you're a new viewer, hit that subscribe button. And finally, remember to comment down below and let me know your favorite aspects of these mermaid character dolls. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!